India is a country rich with history, culture, and tradition. Many of the world's religions, philosophies, scientific breakthroughs, and historic moments can be traced back to this particular part of the world. But, according to one local legend, is there also a hidden extraterrestrial story that's waiting to be told? This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, was India visited by ancient aliens? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. Our story begins in what is now central India around 10,000 years ago. There, in a region now known as Chhattisgarh, local people painted onto the rocks a series of scenes that would, against all odds, survive until the present day survive and also demand the attention of modern historians, academics, and ufologists. The rock paintings are found in Chhattisgarh's Bastar region, where they've achieved a quiet level of mystique. While there has been some wear, tear, and erosion over the years, the paintings remain in spectacularly good condition. And according to local legend, they depict the Rohela people. The Rohela people perhaps don't have the worldwide fame of some other alien types, but for many there's no doubt these creatures really are not of this world, although they have visited Earth in the past, long, long ago. According to the Chhattisgarh paintings, they seemingly came in vehicles that look remarkably similar to the flying saucers of science fiction, disc-shaped somethings that hover over the ground via unknown technology. At first glance, you might even assume that the paintings are simply modern creations based on what sci-fi serves up nowadays. But no, the rocks have been verified, and these pictures really are thousands of years old, marked many, many centuries before the advent of film, Hollywood, and even modern-day America. The figures in the paintings are also quite recognizably alien to modern minds. They have large, smooth heads, but otherwise are seemingly faceless. They have long arms and legs. In some of the paintings, they're carrying what might be deemed as weapons, while in others, their arms are open, apparently in peace. At times, these mysterious figures are shown gathered in groups, huddled together, while at others, they're shown to be alone. The name Rohella people is then a local reference to their apparent smallness. These aliens, if that is what they are, are noticeably smaller than humans. But according to local legend, that never stopped them from taking humans during their visits. It's said that perhaps a couple of people were taken onto their ships at a time, never to be seen again although it's difficult to ascertain this from the paintings alone. And here, the story is blended with local, traditional, spoken tales that have been passed down through the generations. The legitimacy of this particular alien claim is still being investigated. According to reports, local authorities and archaeology groups have before sought help from international partners, including ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, and NASA, in a bid to determine whether the paintings really do show possible alien life. For so long, the Rohela people have had a starring role in Chhattisgarh myth, but more recently, they've taken to the global stage. Thanks to the internet and to our ever-growing shared database when it comes to ET cases of note, more and more people are seeing and contemplating the rock paintings that were once only known to the local community. Some of them are keen to debunk any suggestions that they truly show aliens on Earth in the ancient past, while others aren't so sure. They argue that these drawings of the Rohela people might even constitute one of our best pieces of evidence for ancient alien life. In general, ancient alien claims can be problematic. On the one hand, there is so much about the history of the world that we don't know and can't know, so it figures that ideas on ancient life will continually come up for debate. Modern humans may have walked the Earth for 300,000 years or so, but what about the 4.5 billion years before that? What happened on Earth before humans happened? We now know more than ever before, but there are still gaps to plug. And alien claims are an apparent attempt to do that. On the other hand, however, the ancient alien arguments are often criticized for harboring prejudice, particularly when they're perpetuated by Western theorists in response to ancient achievements not of the Western world. Achievements like the pyramids or Gobekli Tepe, with all such tales, then, it's vital to keep a fair and objective view. With the paintings of the Rohela people, however, there are no other monuments or structures attached to the legend. For both the local experts and global researchers, the paintings themselves are all there is to go on. Some still warn against jumping to the conclusion of aliens too quickly, though. 
One counter-argument asks us to consider that ancient humans could have independently created these images. That they, as we do now, could have employed artistic license and imagined them just for the fun of it, rather than to precisely document real events. Or else there's of course the possibility that what the paintings show are something other than alien beings. Nevertheless, there's no getting away from the strangeness of these images in particular. Ancient rock paintings are actually quite common across the Chittisgar region, but almost all of the other examples are far easier to understand. They show humans and animals, hunters, gatherers, predators and prey. There are clear stories within them that match with accepted or predicted history. But that's not the case here with the Rohela people. These paintings, found within what's today a dense jungle landscape, don't marry up with any other idea or artifact about or from the ancient world. To some degree, then, they remain wholly unexplained. What do you think these paintings show? Do you see aliens and UFOs, or something else entirely? For now, it's hoped that a greater emphasis will be given to researching these images in the near future, in the hope that their true meaning can be deciphered. While it's perhaps true that UFOs remain a majority American interest, or even obsession, cases like this are proof that really there are unanswered questions and alleged alien instances to be found all over the world map. It may be the US that takes most of the headlines, especially in the modern age of government-approved UFO reports and leaks of official military sightings. But if these paintings hold even a little bit of ET truth to them, then they predate almost everything else we've ever discovered. Again, the paintings alone are thought to be around 10,000 years old. Perhaps what they show is even older than that. In a recent video, we took a closer look at how aliens, or something like aliens, are seemingly predicted or mentioned in ancient Indian texts as well, with stories to cover everything from time travel to the multiverse. More specifically, the Vimanas appear to double up as UFOs in many of the most influential poems and legends. The Vimanas differ from case to case. Some are shown as rich and sprawling palaces, while others are more modest carts or chariots. But crucially, they're all shown to fly. These spectacular vehicles are said to descend from the sky to the ground. And while there has so far been no direct link made between the Chittisgar rock paintings and the Vimanas of lore and tradition, it's fair to say that alien spaceships behave in a similar way. They too move from the sky to the ground, leaving onlookers open-mouthed in wonder. They too have allegedly out-of-this-world capabilities. So was India visited by ancient aliens? Based on just one case study, it's impossible for researchers to claim a definite yes. At present, the Rohala people rock paintings are more an oddity than genuine evidence of aliens on prehistoric Earth. Archaeologists and historians use similar paintings all around the world to gain a greater and greater understanding of all that came before us, but sometimes what the paintings show can leave us scratching our heads. That's certainly what happened here, because who were those mysterious, faceless figures? What are those disks in the sky? And in general, the question that's always on the tip of our tongues, are we truly alone in the universe? What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.